Good Wednesday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a special edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, your opportunity to ask questions about what's going on with travel weather in the Mid-South, our upcoming forecast into the rest of the day today, which for travelers here in this area of the country, looks pretty good. Where are we? This is Memphis, Tennessee. Again, we're in West Tennessee, North Mississippi, and Eastern Arkansas. That's the area we cover here in what's called the Mid-South area. And we'll update you on the forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Again, things are looking relatively okay for about the next 36 hours here in the Mid-South, but then we've got some changeable conditions. No winter weather on the way possibility of maybe some severe weather by this weekend. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. If you're checking in from around the Mid-South or from wherever, drop your weather reports into the comments section. Put that thermometer outside the kitchen window to good use and show us what's going on, where you happen to be. If you're in the Mid-South, that's great. If you're checking in from parts unknown, let us know where you're at. City, state will do just nicely. No mailing addresses necessary there. And again, we'll take a look at the forecast going through the holiday weekend. And again, things could be a lot worse at this time of the year. Some headaches coming up. We'll talk more about that here in just a little bit, so stick around for more on that. And again, more details on what we're looking for as well as we go into the early part of December. Where has the time gone? Welcome to everybody checking in. Uh, Corinth, Mississippi. Betty Wilbanks, welcome to the show. Dublin, Ireland. Okay, a little bit further away. Bernie Walsh, thanks a lot for uh, joining us from the Emerald Isle over that side of the pond. Forest City, Arkansas. Tempe Brown, and welcome from Hulls, Tennessee. Courtney Boston. Norfolk. Welcome to the show. Here's what we've got going into the rest of the day in the Mid-South area. The high temperatures have already been set for the day. That happened about midnight earlier this morning and from there on out winds out of the northwest have been doing a very good job of dropping the temperatures. Now we're kind of starting to settle as of about 8 o'clock this morning to about the mid to upper 40s or so and we may bounce just a little bit as we go into early this afternoon to about the lower 50s or so. That's not terrible but it's still below normal for this time of the year but either way the high temperatures we're already done with that for right now and by early this evening we'll be seeing some temperatures back in the 40s once again after that brief upward swing with the extra sunshine for today. So for the rest of the day, the winds will be breezy, but they will be calming down, and we will be looking at drier conditions going into this afternoon and this evening. So here in the Mid-South area, things are looking pretty good all the way on through. So we will see again the possibility of some more wet weather heading on through. Travelers got to pay attention to this forecast and keep it tuned for updates again. Here at WREG.com, you can catch our 7 to 10 day forecast available at the website at the bottom lower left hand corner of your screen. Or if you can't stick around for the whole netcast, again, scrolling by here in the bottom blue bar section so you can catch up to date with what's going on. Clearing things out for this morning, again, a few clouds around, but some nice sunshine into and around the area of Oxford, Mississippi from the University of Mississippi. Some sunshine on the track and field facility 52 degrees and again not much of a breeze out there for right now so seeing just a bit of a wind chill but not really all that much from olive branch mississippi squawk 1111's weather underground web camera clearing skies out across northern mississippi and from the airport in olive branch cooling off about eight degrees cooler than what it was about 24 hours ago 50 degrees there with winds out of the west at about 12 miles per hour welcome to everybody for checking in this morning devin norman from whitehaven 49 and partly cloudy 45 in rockford illinois Gloria Tolls, hope I'm saying that right. Thanks a lot for joining us from there. William Skage from Lower Michigan, rain with 50 degrees. You've got what's left of that system moving on through for right now. So looking again at some rain chances up there for the time being. And sunny and cool in Covington, Judy Thorpe. Thank you very much for that one. Looking back to the northwest from Germantown, Tennessee, the water towers north of Germantown High School, Poplar Pike and Germantown Roads down toward the railroad tracks, 49 degrees. Very breezy at City Hall this morning. Winds out of the west-northwest at 17 miles per hour. Good news for travelers. Again, Mid-South roadways in pretty good shape for right now. Corey Ventura will have more on Time Saver traffic throughout the rest of the morning. And again, keeping track of things into the holiday. East areas of 240. 
right around I-240 in Poplar. Traffic moving along pretty well for rush hour Wednesday. Going to be seeing a lot more people on the roadway later on for today, no doubt about that. From 240 in Airways, looking back toward Memphis International Airport again, there are the clouds heading away from the area going off to the south-southeast. Good news, according to the FAA, partly cloudy skies, breezy west-northwest winds at Memphis International, but this is the main thing we're looking at for right now. Again, delays of 15 minutes or less, so very good travel conditions, arrival and departures at Memphis International Airport. Now back toward Minneapolis, St. Paul, in that area this morning, the snow was starting to cause some slowdowns, but the good news is around the rest of the country at major and connecting airports, we're not seeing any delays at this time, so that's good news, but that will change, obviously, as we go into the rest of the day as a lot of people struggle to get to their destinations on one of the busiest travel days of the year. We'll keep track of this and other road conditions out there as well, travel conditions in general, over the next several days. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 uh, for the experts, weather experts forecast on that. This is just incredible to see, really, because a couple of days ago, there was hardly a warning or an advisory out there, and now we've got just the entire country lit up quite nicely with watches, warnings, advisories, statements coming up from various National Weather Service offices. This is from the last storm system that is now passing away from us. This is from the next storm system inbound that's going to be traveling mainly north of us and giving a lot of wind, snow, rain, and possibly low visibility and some hampered travel conditions to a good portion of the western third of the United States. So we've got not just this one, but another storm system lurking farther offshore, and that one will be coming in as we go into the end of the weekend. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. What we've got from our last storm system, the main energy and the cold air and the snow, anything winter weather related is basically north of Chicago up to around Minneapolis and around parts of the western Great Lakes. Rest of the forecast here, again, just rainfall and some low clouds uh, into and around the area for right now with some of that scattered showers heading out of Tennessee into the mid-Atlantic states for right now. Uh, Shea Delks, rainy in Chattanooga, Tennessee. So there's a uh, report from, for, from the area there on the ground. Thank you very much for that one. Nice in cold water, Edith Moss Busby. Thank you very much uh, for that one. And everybody else checking in uh, from across the Mid-South and beyond. Taking a look at this next storm system, this one was called a bomb cyclone. That's a very rapidly deepening, rapidly strengthening storm system. And it showed that yesterday around back to the coast of Washington State, Oregon, and Northern California. Winds around the system near the center of circulation over 80 miles per hour. So this is a very intense storm system. And as it makes its way onshore, it is bringing some much needed moisture to fight those fires in Southern California, but it is going to be possibly slowing things down. So if you have travel plans anywhere between San Diego to Seattle in the next about 12 to 18 hours, could be some slowdowns out that direction, so be prepared for that. Likewise, anything from Denver to Phoenix to Salt Lake City, as this system heads on through the Intermountain West, we will be looking for some possible problems there. Now, here in the Mid-South area, that storm system clearing the Mid-South, going away from us, so little of anything going on for right now on Storm Tracker 3S radar, so we could see a bit of a problem there. Again, with drier conditions right now, not seeing any issues, but off to the east, that could be some slowdowns due to the rainfall. Chilly this morning and those winds real-time on live real-time weather at 3. Topping 20 miles per hour around Cross County High School. 43 degrees. That's taking your wind chills down into the mid-20s this morning. Kind of brisk out there as that colder air slams into the mid-south and gives us again a lot of those chillier conditions. But also very dry across much of the area. So good news on that. Next 24 hours, again, looking for the potential of drier weather continuing as we go into this afternoon. That bounce on the temperatures back into the lower to mid-50s. Lots of sunshine today, decently comfortable, still pretty breezy out there throughout the rest of the day today. So looking again at some pretty dry conditions through tonight. So if you're traveling into or through the Mid-South or know anybody who is heading through here, no problems at all being seen with the conditions out there for right now. Now going into tonight, the computer gets very overeager, as it always does in a dry atmosphere, to start throwing in chances of rainfall. Clouds, 
yes, rainfall, doubtful we're going to see anything into tonight. Tomorrow morning, maybe a sprinkle or two heading our way by early in the morning as more rainfall heads in from out west. But again, not looking at anything really major at this point in time, but there could be some showers out there. For the rest of the day today, brisk with mainly sunny conditions, so a decent day. Temperatures, again, have already hit their highs. We're still heading downwards as of just past 8 o'clock this morning. We should rise into the lower 50s briefly, but then that'll do it for our temperatures as we go down into the upper 30s later on tonight. A chilly Thanksgiving with numbers in the mid to upper 40s tomorrow for highs. Should be dry, if not a little cloudy, throughout the rest of the day tomorrow. And then also looking at chances of rain coming in, mainly in the afternoon and evening hours, and then sticking around, becoming a little bit more numerous as we go into around the area of Friday. Getting up early, doing again that Black Friday shopping type activities, couple of extra eyes on the parking lot spaces, around the corners, watching those pedestrian parkways as people are going to have to maneuver their bags from shopping and probably their umbrellas again for a little bit of rain protection. So less speed on the accelerator, more looking down the roadway to see what's coming in your direction. Fortunately, temperatures will be a little bit warmer on Friday, back close to normal in the mid-50s, so not exactly a big problem there. Could be some thunderstorms out there, and those thunderstorms will be most numerous on Saturday. So if the family's in town looking for stuff to do, unfortunately, a stroll down by the river or Beale Street might not be in the offing at this time. Again, going to be looking at some possibly soggy conditions into Saturday, but at least it will be mild out there. Now, the good news is that the rain should be out of here very early on Sunday morning, and I'm talking like just past midnight or so, so most of Sunday looks to be pretty dry. The bad news situation is that some of these on Saturday, especially from Memphis in the Mid-South area down to the Gulf, could be looking at maybe some severe weather. A little too early to tell right now. It's still just a little bit too far in advance, but the Storm Prediction Center is showing the potential of some severe weather as we go into Saturday close, if not in, the Mid-South area. So stay tuned to the weather experts, and we'll keep you updated on that. Heading back to work or school, again, the last day of travel, the busiest travel day of the year, looks dry here in the Mid-South area. And as that storm system lifts out of the area and passes on through, Colder, drier air sweeps on in, and temperatures will be back in the mid-40s as we head into Monday morning. So again, or actually in the 30s, low 30s Monday morning, high temperatures Monday afternoon in the mid-40s. So kids heading back to school, walking home again from class on Monday. It's going to be brisk out there. Temperatures return to normal throughout the rest of this next week. And again, back into the 30% range for rainfall way out into the future by the first Friday of December. At least temperatures will be mild. No sign of any winter weather in here. And again, outside of what we're looking for on Saturday, so far no severe weather. So again, definitely some good news where that is concerned. Okay, again, running things through. Tomorrow morning, rainfall chances begin in the Mid-South. Fairly breezy winds coming on through the area as we get into Friday afternoon. More widespread rain through about Saturday morning. And then as we get into Saturday night, could be some more intense rainfall with the potential of severe weather across the area. Clearing out very early on Sunday morning and again breezy with these lines on screen showing the winds coming in from out of the west. We could be looking at maybe some gusty, possibly choppy travel conditions out there as we go into Sunday afternoon and evening. And then as we go into Monday, clear skies heading back to around the area of Monday morning, but also pretty chilly out there as well. Now, taking a look at the national scan of things, if you are traveling someplace or anybody else coming in, from someplace else to the Mid-South. Here's what we're looking for for right now. Again, for Thursday evening, rainfall chances coming on through. Our next storm system off the coast begins to make its way into the mid-section of the Rockies, the desert southwest, up into the Bitterroots and the Cascades. Good possibility of slowdowns due to snow west of Denver and anything east of the Sierras could be looking at some problems out this direction. Now, the good news for us is that storm system lifts back to the north the winter weather will be well north of I-70, so we don't see any of that. But again, we could see from Sunday afternoon and evening some energetic weather, some thunderstorms, maybe some severe weather out there. That storm system lifts up to the north and east, and that could be a problem for travel from Des Moines, 
Minneapolis, St. Paul, all the way back over into the tri-state area around Boston, New York City. So if you're planning on traveling, again, this could be a problem by Saturday or by Sunday night. And then as we go into next week, hitting the red eye for the coast, going out that direction, another storm system lines up and could be a problem for anything between Portland, Oregon, and San Diego, California. So here in the Mid-South, everything clears on out and should not be that much of a problem. So definitely some good news on that. We'll continue to monitor things, so keep it up to date with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the holiday weekend, and we'll let you know what's going on. Tropics are equally as quiet. What's left of Sebastian, a more of a nuisance storm up in the British Isles. And as of right now, as we go into the next five days, coming very close to the end of hurricane season, which is now less than one week away. So far, nothing developing in the Gulf, the Caribbean, or the Atlantic, so things are looking very peaceful out there, and hopefully should be staying that way as we go into the next several days. If anything develops, again, the National Hurricane Center will have the updates and will let you know as well, so stay tuned for more on that. Keep up to date with our forecast as we go throughout the rest of the holiday weekend by going to wreg.com slash weather, and we'll have updates and links and all sorts of neat things available. All you have to do is click on through, and the weather experts will do the rest for you and keep you updated on that. One more check of the forecast before we wrap things up for this morning. Back in the lower 50s by lunchtime. Again, temperatures dropping into early this morning, but then chilly and dry and a little less breezy into later on tonight with temperatures by dinner time in the upper 40s. But at least you won't need the windshield wipers and at least you can leave the umbrella at home if you're getting any early shopping done or hitting the roadways to grandma's house or if grandma's heading here. Again, so far, little if any problems being seen across much of the area, so good news on that. I'll have your forecast in and around through the rest of the day on News Channel 3 through Live at 9 and through News Channel 3 at noon. Tim and Jim will have your forecast starting on 1st at 4 as we go into tonight. And, of course, busy travel conditions out there. Keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest on that. Questions, concerns, ideas? Complaints, if you absolutely must do so, find me at austin.onic at wreg.com. Weather pictures, we'd love to get them in here and show them, but we haven't had quite as many of them lately. So if you've got them, send them in. Find me on social media or, again, drop them to my email account, and we'd love to spread them around to let everybody see what you're seeing out there. So please let us know what's going on. We've got an update coming up at 825 and at 855. And, again, join me for a forecast update on News Channel 3 Live at 9. So stay tuned for more on that. And, of course, Tim and Jim have more on your forecast coming up tonight, starting at 1st at 4. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for this special travel edition update of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather overtime and we'll have more coming up throughout the rest of the holiday weekend so keep attuned to the weather experts for more details on your holiday travel plans.